guys, Norris City Central, I hope you guys are all doing okay. My match review has been uploaded on the channel, so please feel free to go and watch that. In which Norris showed um, a lot of character, but they won the game 2-1, and Mario Rancic brilliantly tucking away uh, a nice strike to secure the win after Norris switched off for 25 minutes in the second half. But yeah, goals from Timi Pukki and Mario Rancic secure a 2-1 win over Reading, and Norris City moving to the top half of the table and two points away from playoffs. How funny football can be. Uh, this is going to be my player ratings. Guys, let me know. Um, obviously, um, after games, I do a match review. And I like to either do a social media reaction um, or a player rating. So please let me know down below in the comments whether you'd prefer a social media reaction where I get fans' opinions on Twitter. Or decide to go with just player ratings. Um, yeah, please let me know down below in the comments. But I'm going to do some player ratings today. And Tim Krull, uh, for me, a, a, a 7 out of 10. Looked pretty assured. Um, so I made a couple of decent saves. Um, for the first goal, it's a tough one because he, he kind of parried it into the keeper's path, but it was poor defending. Let's be honest, the defenders had two chances to clear it, and you can't just blame that goal on Tim Krull. Um, but overall, a solid performance by him. I'd like to see him doing well. Uh, Jamal Lewis, 7 out of 10. Yet again, another assured performance by him. Um, got forward nicely as well, put a couple of decent crosses in. Well played, Jamal. I love to see you know Jamal, Max Aarons and Todd Cranwell. Three players, they're one of our own. And fair play to them, uh, putting some decent performances tonight. Christoph Zinnemann, up there with my man the match. I love the guy. I think I actually think he's one of the best defenders at our club. I actually think, over from what I've seen over the past, the past year, he's probably better than closer in terms of defensive ability. Um, I really like the guy. 8 out of 10. Closer, 7 out of 10. Yet again, putting a good performance. Won a lot of head headers and um, de the decent. And he showed a bit of leadership tonight, which was good. Max Aarons, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. At first half, I thought he was very impressive. Second half, he did make a few errors. I've got caught on the ball a couple of times. Um, there was a moment in the 90th minute where he put it into the keeper's hands, but who cares um, too much. I think Max Aarons is going to be an excellent player, and um, I was really, really impressed. I can't wait to see Max Aarons play more games in a Norwich City shirt. Decent performance tonight from him. Teddy, 7 out of 10. Um, similar to Middlesbrough, he's kind of the performance, anchored the midfield really well, won some good tackles, and he looked absolutely tired, but I loved the spirit he showed, because you could see in the second half he was he was tiring down, but he showed a lot of a lot of, um, a lot of endeavour to carry on, which was really, really pleasing to see. Uh, Leitner, 7 out of 10, I thought he had a great first half, I love Leitner in this deeper role, picking the passes from deep, dictating the play, because obviously Teddy can't do that, Leitner, great job, 7 out of 10, um, yeah, really, really impressed with him. Uh, Buendia, a 6 out of 10 for me today. Don't think he had his best game. First half showed in good spells what he's about. Um, yeah, I like the look of him, to be honest. Um, and it could be between him and Todd Cantwell playing, you know, to see who gets on the wing. You don't know yet. Because once O'Neill's back, you'd think Todd Cantwell um, and Buendia and the pop perhaps could be battling. And when you throw in Kenny McLean into the mix, Ben Marshall, you've suddenly got a really competitive midfield, which is really nice to see. Um, Stuperman, I'm going to give a... I thought he had a decent performance, a 7 out of 10 for me. Showed a lot of physicality. Um, I, lo I love his link-up play with the midfield. He linked up really well. Um, you know, he's, he's got great vision as well. I love him in the steeper role. Um, Todd Campwell, 8 out of 10. One of our own. Todd Campbell was brilliant, wasn't he? Uh, a fantastic assist for the first goal. The way Stuperman goes down and Todd Campbell says, I'll take the ball, I'll continue this attack. So he's got a lot of leadership, um, a lot of heart, and a great pass to... Um, to Pookie, who put in a fantastic goal. Um, and Todd Cameron played the full 90 minutes, and it's great to see one of your own and an English talent like him progressing. And, yeah, good performance, and I want to see more of Todd Cameron. I was really, really impressed. Wasn't sure about him playing on the wing, but great performance, and it's really great to see one of your own doing well. And I think the appreciation between Todd Cameron and the fans could go a long way and will help, him, help improve his performance. Team with Pookie, 9 out of 10. I love the guy. Team with Pookie is absolute class, isn't he? Um... The finish as well, we be lacking a striker like since Grant Holt who can just finish from anywhere. The confidence he takes to take one touch inside him from 20 yards to belt it into the bottom corner. Fantastic play from him. Let's not forget Timmy Pukki was absolutely knackered. And there was a moment in the 90th minute where he chased down the ball, won the ball and held it up and then kept position for the, for the team. And that, you know, that, that saved us a lot of time in kind of holding out for the win. So brilliant teamwork from uh, Timmy Pukki. And you know, his, his goal was key in the game. Um, Subs as well. Tom Tribal, 7 out of 10, did well. Won a couple of tackles. Jordan Rhodes, it's really hard to judge. I thought he did well when he came on. I'm not going to give him a rating, but he did really well. Mario Rancic, 8 out of 10. Um, wow. I wasn't sure about him coming on on that right wing spot, but the composure he showed to take it away from the defender 
and then bang it in and Stephen and Mario Runcic. She would have thought they would have linked up too many times this season, but yeah, great goal for Mario Runcic and really, really impressed to see him do well because he's a player I want to see keep at the club. The midfield position is very competitive, but it's good to see Mario Runcic, you know, getting a goal and trying to stake his place in the team. And, you know, it's a really critical goal because Reading score, they were on the ascendancy, we had a shit second half, especially the first 25 minutes, and Mario Rancic, great composure to put the ball in the net. That's my player ratings, I thought Tab Cantwell was brilliant, Zinnemann was immense at the back, and Timmy Pookie is the GOAT. Please leave your thoughts down below, subscribe to Norris City Essential, and I'll see you later.